what a boon to the school. You know, it goes back many years. Um, people just um, are amazed it just happened. But it's something that Karen Fuller and I have worked on. Karen Fuller is now the acting director of the School of Music, doing a wonderful, wonderful job. Uh, she was actually uh, one of my assistants when I was the director of the school. She's picked up on all that stuff and is running with it now. Is producing part of uh, Marta's album. And so she, she's quite a force. But speaking of Herb Wertheim and this big endowment we just gave to the school, way back when I was still director in the night, in, I think it was around 2003 or four, I went out to visit Herb on one of his boats, which is really a ship. Um, <laughs> And uh, we were talking, and I, at that time, got into a conversation with him about naming the school, the Wertheim School of Music, which he loved the idea at that point. And then Herb got involved in other things at FIU, and he gave $40 million, and out came the Wertheim Medical School, and then the nursing school, and this sort of fell into the wayside. And then fairly recently, it was Herb's 80th birthday. And I was asked to write a fanfare for Herb Wertheim, which I wrote for that, and it was a great success. And Herb ran onto the stage, took me around, and was crying after he heard the piece. And then we went to a party at the president's house. And Herb said, Fred, what could I do for the School of Music? I said, you could finally name it the Wertheim School of Music. And he said, if they do that, I will support it. He said, find out if the president's interested. So I ran right to the president. And I said, you know, Herb is very interested in doing what we talked about many years ago, naming it, and he will support it. And he said, let's go for it, Fred. And, and that was it. And uh, that's how it all came back. So it's not something that just came about now. It's something that was in, in the works for a good 15 years.